Hi and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Today the Lord inspired me to give a word about loyalty. When you think about the word loyalty in the traditional sense, you may think about being loyal to your family, being loyal to your relatives, being loyal to friends, being loyal to coworkers, your boss, so on and so forth. When we think about loyalty, we think about being loyal to those that we are connected to. But there's a word here that the Lord has inspired me to share with every person about loyalty and where your loyalty should lie no matter what. Your loyalty certainly shouldn't lie with your family just because they're your family. And your loyalty certainly shouldn't lie with anybody just because you know them and you've developed trust with them and you have history. Time and time again, God has shown me that people change their minds like this in the drop of a hat. And somebody who was loyal to you at one point in time may change their mind and decide they no longer want to be loyal. So here's a word from the book of Luke chapter 8, verse 19. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he answered them, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. This is what Jesus said when his mother and brothers were looking for him. The same goes for us. The people that we are to remain loyal to are people who what? They hear the word of God and they do it. I don't want to add my own words to this. They do it. The Bible says that you will know the Lord's sheep. They hear his voice and they follow him. Their life follows what the Lord expects from us. God wants you to remain loyal to God and to do God's work, okay? to no one else. Let me share a story with you guys. So I was in a situation for many years. I'm no longer in this predicament by God's grace. God removed me from this kind of predicament to a degree. I'm still a part of it. But for the longest time, there was somebody who was around, who was close, who other people did not enjoy this person's presence or company. So when we would have gatherings, People wouldn't want to invite this person, but I would always extend the invitation. I would always invite this person. I wanted this person to be included, to feel included. But it was because that's the path that God led me down. The Lord led me to a path of doing this, despite having my challenges with this person personally in the past, despite me seeing what has happened. God has shown me time and time again that forgiveness is king. And I have chosen to move forward respectfully and include this person. Now, I didn't receive that same type of treatment in return. What's really ironic is I was the one who was always loving this person, respecting this person, and being inclusive of this person. But this person didn't get the same treatment from others. By way of example, other people would exclude this person from gatherings, gathering, speak negatively on this person, and so much more. You won't, you won't even believe how things have unfolded over the years. The person who wasn't treated well by the group of people who excluded this person, spoke badly about this person, this person is chasing these people to be included. However, the person who included this person in everything spoke highly of this person. Whenever somebody would come and complain, I would always encourage people to see things from a certain point of view, to give this person the benefit of the doubt, and so much more, despite being told that I wasn't being loyal to these particular people when I would do that. I was following God's lead. This person never ever 
despite me standing up for them, being there, speaking highly of them, has never sought a relationship with me. That's the ironic part. The irony is that this person has done nothing but spoken poorly of me, but now this person has been excluded by all until recently when people started to change their mind and include this person at an event. What's the point of my story? Thank goodness I wasn't loyal to those people who were trying to make me exclude this person from being at gatherings because they didn't like this person. I was following God's lead. And thank God I was because you know what ended up happening? This person ended up starting being included in events. God changed those people's hearts. And see, if I would have gone along with them, I would have been just as guilty as those people. It's really important that your loyalty lies with what? With God. And then you follow people whose loyalty lies with the Lord and who do God's work and who do what God expects from them. I hope this message blesses you all. May you understand the importance of following God's lead, of putting God first in your life. I pray for all of us. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen.